trap, how that shit came about. I, I think I would ride one day. I would listen. I would let him listen to like Jesus verse. I was on the phone. I had face. I let him hear Jesus verse. Let him hear Booster verse. Let him hear like a lot of people verse. And uh, I got out the phone. I guess he he knew that bitch was gonna be going crazy. That text me like, bitch, give me uh. Then they said, uh, let me give you ten bands to put put you uh put you on a verse uh to let me uh put a verse on that's on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I gotta ask you on that remix, man, because I remember when that remix came with that's on me. You just walk around and them get it in. Yeah, you can sleep if you want, but not on me, baby. And no, I ain't taking no loss. Yeah, I got heat. I just wanna know, like, I, that's when I first started, like, man, Trap Boy Freddy might have had the hardest verse on there. That was me with that bush. <laughs> Yeah, now, a lot of people that, I'm talking about like this, but, too, yeah, like this, uh, this nigga verse on that was like he was going in. It was on some hustle type. The way he do it, you know, and it fit him perfect. Like, mm. but picking the people that you picked on there from Jeezy, Ti, Boosie, everybody that you had on there. And that first dude that started out, what was that name? Little, uh, little, little, little uh, Rich Kid. Yeah. Like, like, how did two you go chain. about? Yeah, Two Chain. How did you go about selecting the people that you put on that remix? Uh, Boosie had posted on his page like. That was one of his favorite songs. He was jamming. He was like, I need to be on a remix. So I automatically reached out to him when he said that. He posted on his page. T.I. reached out to me um, to um, get on a remix. He he, he, he like, man, I want to get on your remix. Woo-woo. But I had already then kicked it with T.I. a couple times because Dro was trying to get T.I. to sign me at one point. Or something. Wow, that's all. So we was already kind of uh, established. Um, two Chains had was calling to, to, to sign me, but I had already told him, L.A. Reed. Was uh I was probably finna sign with him. He was like, "Well, shit, L.A. Reed uh, uh reached out to you. I know it's too late for me, mm-hmm. but I was like, hey man, you'll get on the remix, woo woo.' So we worked out the business end on that end. Um, Jesus, how the fuck Jesus gonna come about? I think uh, Jesus had Jesus, yeah, Jesus reached out. I think Jesus reached out to me also, and I told him, yeah, I'm finna come up with a, a, a remix, and I sent him over to what you call Rich the Kid. I actually met him at the uh. Uh, the on the road, on the run to on the run to the uh, the Beyonce and Jay Z, and we were backstage chopping it up, and then my label was like, man, we need to get you on the remix too. Ooh, so they kind of put that one together, and uh, trap how that shit came about. I, I think I would ride one day. I would listen. I would let him listen to like Jesus verse. I was on the phone. I had face. I let him hear Jesus verse. Let him hear Booster verse. Let him hear like a lot of people verse. And uh, I got out the phone. I guess he he knew that bitch was gonna be go crazy. Then they text me like, bitch, give me uh. Then they said, uh, let me give you ten bands to put put you uh put you on a verse uh to let me uh put a verse on that's on me. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I said, nigga, do it look like I need ten bands, nigga. I said, nigga, just send a fucking verse. And he was like, bitch, don't be bullshitting with me. I was like, man, send a <laughs> verse, send me the open verse. That nigga sent that bitch back the next day. So I tell him I was like, hey, I'm finna. Matter of fact, I had just told him I said I was on my way to Atlanta. We finna shoot the video. And he was like, that's when he had hit me with that, let me uh give you 10 bands and shit. So he instantly sent the verse back the next day. And I listened to that motherfucker. I was like, boy, that hoe go hard. And he was like, I was like, shit, we finna go to uh go to Atlanta, shit, get your flight, come come do the video. He was like, man, they gonna let me do this shit. I said, bro, I'm 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 my own boss, nigga. I signed a joint bench. I do what I want to. They like I ain't no, I I could say I got the last say so. Right. And then he flew out there, shit, and shot the verse. Wow. wow, that's hard, man. Uh, uh, up one. I got, I got big rocks, big, rocks, big, chain, big chain, big watch, watch big beans, big beans. Big. With uh, little baby, mm-hmm. like what? What was the process uh, as far as how did you guys link? Did you even know him before y'all did that? Nah, I think that's the. Uh, I think he had that my dog going crazy at that time, and he he was on his way here to do a show. And I was on his live when he was going live one time, and I said something. He was like, "Nah." He said, yeah, "What's up, yellow?" He was like, nah, "We f- with everything you got going, in, uh, got going on." And then when we got out, with, and uh, I had broke something back on that motherfucker. And when he got off live, we started inboxing. And he had hit me when he got here, and he had brought me out when he was at uh, I forgot what club that was. It was a club kind of out right beside uh, and Beam was the up uh, right behind that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. that yeah. club for the old club flow. So uh, we end up linking up there and shit. went to the strip club after that shit. So boom, um, I had went and record up one like right. I know it was out at that time. Was up one out at that time? Nah, no, it wasn't. I think we were. I think we was uh, still. I was still shooting. That's on me. 
The regular red one. The regular. No, I, I think I was just shooting because that outfit is what I wore that night. That when, when we was uh, doing uh doing some scenes in that month, I think we uh, was it that? Yeah, because that's the remix. I know the remix was out, but you remember the the, the original remix one? Uh, he it won his verse one on the uh, actual light work. Oh yeah, because this is before we saw. Yeah, and you remember I, I put the remix on. Like it wasn't even on light work too. It was whatever, whatever, uh, whatever CD came after that shit. Mm -hmm. So basically, the video, the song was already out. So by this time, that's on me going crazy. I hit the up, tell him I'm finna come to Atlanta because I had some interviews. And I pulled up on him. He, we end up riding around the nigga neighborhood for a little bit. Came back to the studio. He did the verse. Yeah, that was it. Then he actually he got on tour with PNB Rock. And I remember I was in Austin. We had just did a show in Austin. He was like, man, shit, I'm on tour with PNB. I need you to come out again. I like bet. I said, shit, why you in the city? Let's go ahead and uh, do that video too while we edit. And we just shot the video. Wow. Uh, back at it again. Oh my gosh, back at it again. Back at it. In the kitchen whipping, I'm rapping again. Um, with, uh, is that how you end up linking with Quavo and all them? Because they was with QC? Or you just, how did that end up happening? That's after I had got shot. I had went to Atlanta to do um, wow. Wild and Out. End up just calling P and shit. Pulled up to the studio, they were like, they finna go to Gucci. That one Gucci had just got out not too long. And he was like, they had a uh, party for Gucci somewhere they were finna go to. Pulled up to the studio, we was out on that bitch just vibing. Yeah, he wow. was just going crazy, niggas start playing beats. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.